hi everyone welcome back here in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to generate unique list of items in old excel versions and the list is dynamic dynamic means when i make change to the item name here in the source data then the new item will automatically update here in the unique list for example here i am going to make this heater and here you see the heater is automatically added in the unique list similarly if i go to the end of the data and add some more record for example if i take here a new item which is speaker for example then if you go to the unique list here the speaker is automatically updated so this is a dynamic unique list and it is created by combining multiple formulas if you here look into the formula there are combination of if error index match and count if formula but if you are in latest excel version then you don't have to do this much of exercise because a simple unique function can give you the unique list like if you press is equal to type unique then select your array here close bracket press enter he will, here you will get the unique list automatically here you see but the problem is this unique function is not available in every excel version so if you are in the old excel version you have to combine these formulas to get your result here and if you want a static uh, unique list then you can use a very simple method in the older excel version 2 that is remove duplicate feature which also i am going to show you to create a static list from the static data here i am going to copy all these items Control c then here i am going to create a copy of it paste special as values now here if i want to create a static list of unique item i can simply go to the data tab then go to this remove duplicate tool that is given here click on the remove duplicate tool then click ok now you will get a unique items but the problem is this is a static list it is not dynamic if you make change here then the change will not appear over here so to make a dynamic list we need to combine multiple formulas which you can see here now let's go to the second sheet where i don't have any formula here and let's start with the process of doing this the first thing is you need to convert your data into table range so select your whole data here from the data heading till the last row then go to insert tab then click on the table you can do this by pressing ctrl t as well that is the keyboard shortcut so after clicking on take create table here you will see this dialog box click ok now your data is converted into the table format if you want to give a new name for your table you can go here in the table design tab then here in this table name you can change the name like here you can give the table name is item wise sales then press enter and here you see now the table name has been changed after converting your data into table then here let's start writing the formula first of all press is equal to symbol then start with the index formula index open the bracket and here in the array of the index formula let's take this table that is the item wide sales when you type it here it will suggest for the table double click on it then open a square bracket then give the item name column so here double click on item name then close the square bracket then give a comma and here in the row number of the index formula we need to now combine the match so type match formula open the bracket in the lookup value of the match give zero then give a comma and in the lookup array of the match formula 
let's combine the another formula that is count if so type count if open the bracket in the range of the count if click on this h4 cell that is just one cell above the starting of your formula then type the colon symbol when you type colon symbol then here it will give h4 to h4 and here in b first h4 we need to lock this range so type the f4 key in the keyboard to lock it that will apply the dollar symbol now give a comma and here in the criteria of the count if we need to combine the another index formula so type index open bracket and in the area of the index again take the table that is item wide sales double click on this item wide sales table then open a square bracket then choose the column header that is item name now close the square bracket then give a comma and here in the row number of index formula type 0 then close bracket then uh, close another bracket for the count if then give a comma and here in the match type of the match formula choose this exact match that is given by 0 then close the match formula now close the index formula now your formula is complete press enter and here you will get the unique list first item that is television now when you drag this formula down by going to the fill handle drag this down here you see the unique list of items are created but when the unique list is finished there you see error message to hide these error message you can combine the if error formula so go to the first formula then go at the starting of the formula then combine the if error bracket open go to the end of the formula give a comma then type double quotations twice this will give blank cell when there is error now close bracket press enter and now you can go here in the fill handle then drag it down and while dragging it down you can go up to the row where your unique record will be filled in future so here i am taking till row number 29 so that when i update new records here and when there is new item then it will populate here till row number 29 if you need more row then you can simply go here and drag it down and here you see the unique list is already generated if i go here in my source data and make change like if i make it speaker here you can see a new unique item is added to the list similarly if i go at the bottom of the data then add a new record here for example rice cooker here in this case the rice cooker is added in the unique list here you see so this is the process of generating the unique list of item dynamically in older excel versions and uh, this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial